What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here. Magic Dwarfs. Rimhammer mod set. We've run into some halfling traders on the road. Looking for anything magical, because that's the main thing dwarfs can't make for themselves. Per the lore, I'm going to just sell some shit then. Raw fungus, berries can go. We'll keep the milk. I guess they can... Probably going to rot away. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, Rot of Flaming Death. It's pretty awesome, actually, but... Golden Royal Bed. $16,000. <laughs> no, I don't think so, friends. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just get all their money, and then we'll give them the old say la vie. Don't really want to buy anything from them, apparently. All these little numbers are good, because you can just get close and say piss on it. <laughs> That's fine, right? <laughs> there we go. All right, uh, and just one more double check. They have rams. All right, fuck it, go. Move on. The halflings love us. All right, we're going to go trade with these empire blokes and then get back to it. I'm going to flesh out some bedrooms while we wait. And do that, and do that, and then... Our fences are built here, but before I can really get going on that, I need to be able to lay pipe in the walls. So I'm gonna just do a bunch of mining. I'm gonna expand the hallways. Well, we have a major problem here. <laughs> major, major problem here. Uh, hopefully it's not getting hot. It's not. Maybe we should just close this. I saw a couple others sniffing around over there. Let's see if we can nip this problem in the bud. And then just... Why doesn't it select the animals by default? Give me a whole pause command. There you go. Alright. Anyways. I was doing mining when that bullshit went down. This is this, pretty much a game of interrupts. It's like, uh, it's like my office job as a software engineer. Just... Can never get shit done because you're constantly being interrupted by people wanting shit from you or whatever. Anyway, you see what I'm boredly doing here. I'm gonna pop out these corners too, just for some visual appeal. Like that. I think that'll look good. And pray God can we find a freezing statue here. I really wish I would have gotten these guys to do some meditation it's kind of wearing on me here uh, why don't we see what we want to buy raise ground cure poison will be nice it's really cheap and it instantly cures food poisoning does it cure anything else toxic buildup chaos corruption yeah that sounds like something that would be useful at some point crafting intellectual magic arm magic. oh they have apples I want meat eh, I guess not more so in my ice sheet game, I would like to have a shit ton of meat. Let's at least selling this stuff speeds us up a bit. No, we have to make sure they have things we want to buy. There's a lantern of days, which we don't. That was awesome before I started using the glowstone mod. Now it's kind of meh. candles, ruby ring, belt of art are normal. You guys have fuck all the buy here. <laughs> I guess we don't sell as much shit to them, right? Hang on to that. Well, we definitely need to sell something. I'm just going to get all their money and bail. We can double back if it seems worthwhile. Don't need another raised ground. We don't really have a mage that's getting magic points that quickly. Magic arms and legs are... I'm going to take the mechanical leg off their hands too, actually. Just make sure they don't have anything awesome. We still have all these dusters we need to sell. Ruby Ring is fun. Alright, if we don't find something better, we'll take a normal belt of ardor as we pass back by this base. But do they have any legit medicine? They do not. That's too bad. Alright, I'm going to accept. Empire loves us. Yes, indeed. Go trade. So we have 4.4 days of food. It's only 0.7 days away. Making bedrooms, mining like beasts. Man, that's a lot of mining. We're gonna have stone blocks like nobody's business, but or stone chunks, I should say. How many wizards 
here. I'm not giving it to the human, so we're probably going to get rid of him, being that this is a dwarven hold. These corners don't quite line up, but I think we'll mine. Eh, I'm going to cancel. Alright, we have some critters rotting in here without being butchered, so I had to alter Hurld's work priority. Oh, shit balls. <laughs> That's not great. That's not a weak event like it used to be. It's a real pain in the ass now. If you play these mods, you're going to come to recognize that. We're going to have a grand entrance somewhere. I would like the grand entrance. Eh, I guess it's pretty much got to be here. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> so let's just go to like... I can't, I can't put in any more jobs either. Nobody's bored. I did leave all my constructors. That's finished now that I say that. Maybe we'll work on this room. This is what our main focus was. Yeah, I was planning this out. It looks like the best plan is going to be claystone. Through the middle so we can do something like that. And then this ass that's not right over here visitors hopefully they have stuff to trade not that we have any real money but and then we can do a th three by three like right in the middle i should make a fucking six by six right that's what when you're the modder you can do whatever the hell you want holy shit it's the ogres that's awesome hurled he's cooking get ready to go talk to this ogre who's probably going to eat these carcasses because ogres don't give a shit all right, ogre trade. He has a ooh. We need an empire robe. We desperately need an empire robe. Our dude has uh, clothing that is tattered, and we don't. We can make him put something else on, I guess. But well, we should definitely keep him with good clothes. Cigarettes, ground more warp stone. I guess if all these things, we'll sell this. We're gonna have to sell like over two hundred though. We don't have any money because they took it all on caravan. I just want to zero this out. I'll take that robe off your hands. We don't want a barrel. We don't... Mm, fuck. <laughs> Do we want blasting charges? They don't start fires because they explode. Explosions in RimWorld generally put out fires. But Alright, that should be fine. Okay. <laughs> Guess we get another trade straight away. Hope you guys weren't expecting anything less. All right, the seed can go. We get a love potion. That'll open up a bedroom. That's pretty powerful for that reason. There's a mechanical arm. We'll take that. Artistic, cooking, social. We are going to start making statues soon, so we have a ton of extra money. And let's just... Oh, we have to find stuff to buy. I'm just wasting my time otherwise. We have still have all these fucking dusters, dude. Armor, vitality... We have an empire banner. We could show our support for our allies, but... Eh. Winged boots, ruby ring. We're actually going to go buy that belt of ardor then. I'll take the love potion off your hands. Man, nobody has any magic buildings anymore. What the hell? Moonshade soup. Why the hell do these guys have that? Rottweilers. Ducks. No. No thanks. Alright, well I did have a guy whose eye was injured in that last battle, so I guess we'll buy the eye against my wishes because they're so pricey, but we still need to sell a ton of shit, so let's see where we end up yet. We're going to have to go trade with someone else. <laughs> Big time. Nah, the cloak is normal. Uh, one, two, we have eight people. Six, seven, eight. So we can sell four bed rolls. That's probably as good as it's. We need a solid statue too. All right. What if we were to walk? Out? So we have four point nine days of food. What if we went to trade with the dwarfs? They're a day and a half away, but there's another empire base down there too. I'm gonna regret this. For some god awful reason, but here we go. <laughs> All right, we're making tables. Thinking about putting a poker table in here too but it's low priority we have every because these are essentially the same form of recreation so oh you know one thing we haven't done though 
bills. Add bill. Can we make a dwarven horn? Yeah, we're gonna do that. What are we gonna make that out of? What does it take? A hundred of something. Well, there's pretty much. Uh, let's make that out of silver when they get back. That'll be glorious. Otherwise, we don't have enough. Or uranium, but I'm gonna go silver on it. Alright, so we have several open bedrooms. An open prison for recruitment. What else? A lot of mining happening. We're getting there, I feel like. Maybe. I feel like if... That's uninstalled. Uh, let's cancel. Let's reinstall this. There was a room over here that needed a door. Like there. I'm gonna go ahead and like mine this hallway big. So let's just open this up finally. These are all rooms from when this was like a fledgling little, fledgling little non base. Visitor from the ogres are leaving. Yeah, that's fair. And this wall needs to move somewhere else. Uh, just stick it somewhere for now. That's going to take a massive amount of effort to build all the chairs I want to build through here. Those chairs take a lot of work. But the two we built turned out good and excellent. And that one's actually art. Excuse the hillbillies driving by my house. <laughs> Not sure if the mic picks those things up, but it's really loud to me. Half the fucking day. Alright, we're going to put this shelf that holds food here so they're cooking down here and they dump food on there that seems like a fair place to put it somewhere nearby i'm gonna holy smokes set all these to be hauled so they start getting picked up and we have a lot of open space now i think i missed some mining over here all right let's lay this baby out <laughs> this is nice Hopefully we have the glowstones to make it happen. And then we're going to do one more big table in the middle for the feasting hall. Uh, I'm going to put it there. That looks fine. And I think I'll do some one by 3 benches around that. Mm, yeah, that'll be fine. I'm torn. There we go. Alright, so the whole room isn't actually lit, but that's fine. The mining's still occurring. I'm gonna get going on this throne room. We're gonna declare a Thane at some point, and then probably we're gonna declare a High King too, but we have to declare a Thane before we can declare High King. Uh, from the Dwarfs mod, not from Ideal Legion. <laughs> so, uh, let's, uh, let's just... Oh, we finally made it down south to the Empire of Man. Alright, so they don't have the dogs or cats we're interested in. They do have a lot of learning potions. Jerky. We have two days of food. <laughs> Perhaps we should buy something. Liver, mechanical eye, arms. Jerky? Two po I don't know if we have enough fucking food to get home now, but we do have a ton of shit we can sell, so I guess we're going to be just fine, right? And we need eight bed rolls. So we can still sell three. I'm going to sell any normal bed rolls we might have. Okay. That's it for that. We do have this little statue yet, too. They have a dragon orb, which is a heating statue, which doesn't do me much good. There's a schist pew. We can make our own fucking pews. They have gold. I'm going to actually not sell stuff. If, because we're going to go trade with the dwarves and you get more bang for your, well, I guess you don't if you're selling shit regardless, so, freaking yaks, we're done with the yaks too, I can tell you that. Alright, we're going to give them a bonus dollar, and then we're going to go trade with these dudes. Why don't you guys smash the beastmen in your mitts, Jesus. So we only have 2.4 days of food, we might be able to make it home. What if we were to go home now? How much food do we need? 2.2. Yeah, actually, we could make it home. We might buy a little bit of food, just just in case. If we get raided on the way home, which is a high likelihood, we'll be just fine. 
come back in here and mine. The dwarves. What shall we trade with them? They have a love potion. They have a healing potion. Imagine that. They have three crafting potions. <laughs> a magic arm. I have a mechanical leg. I'm going to take that off their hands regardless. There's a duster. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we could still sell one bedroll in a pinch. They don't have any freezing statues. Fuck, that was the whole point of this trip. They have a normal belt of ardor. I want to get some of those going here. We have 2.3 days of food, so I believe we can make it home. I'm going to take their potion of healing. We have a lot of money. Crafting? It's only going to help our the results of our crafting efforts, so I think I'll take that, too. I'm going to take both the potions of healing, and then we can use those as well. Love potions will free up beds. Berries, fuck, we can't sell the berries. They're not going to be happy about that. Oh, there's mushrooms, though. It's almost a wash, 0.92 to 0.78. So if we sell the berries and buy the mushrooms, we're not too far off. Uh, we can maybe sell some critters here, too. These are worth 200 and something bucks each. So anything else we want to do before we bail? I can't believe nobody has a fucking freezing <laughs> statue. There's, we, we could craft them. We do have an empire wizard. I actually have dwarven wizards. So it's, a, it's an option. It's not a great option. A heating statue is a maybe. We don't have any money. So... It, I guess it doesn't much matter. Boots of Speed would be fun, too, considering how much running we're doing. They have two of the fuckers. Is there anything expensive we're buying? Not really. And we could ne not buy this. What's the cost difference? Yeah, it's pretty. It's about 600 bucks. All right. Well, I guess that's it. It's going to be a massive trade. We could buy some additional stuff, but I don't really think they have anything. We could buy another helmet, but we can make our own that are going to be really awesome quality. 320 bucks for a small statue sounds like shit. We could buy some gold. It's weird. Doors aren't really supposed to sell gold, but there it is. All right, except I don't want to go home and have tons of loot. We could... We have 2.5 days of food. They're 2.6 days away, but we should be able to forage on the way, so we should be okay. So we're not going to make it up to trade with those ogres. And let's go check faction relations. The dwarfs are at 56. The empire at 64. You know, we're doing our best, halflings. The halflings don't like us too much. <laughs> Plus 11 only. Uh, why don't we... Hold on. Fuck, what are you doing? Haul this. He's making so many meals. Oh, dude, where are you going with that? What are we researching? I switched research to gates because I want to be able to build big gates, but it's not uh, it's not panning out. Nobody here is really doing research, so... A little bit of a problem. I can't uh, build walls here, so... Ooh, Dylan. That sounds like a human name. Yeah, definitely. That's too bad. But anyways, we're gonna have to build a wall over this. So the whole thing's the whole layout's fucked now. <laughs> Sadly. Dylan. This is all gonna get filled in. Maybe I can leave a little tiny table there. I like to sprinkle little tables in the corners, like in these areas and what is the scavener here? They're going to prepare for a while, but they are here. Let's send uh, let's send Harold here. Over here to hold open this door. It's perfect. Clearly no one's butchering the fucking creatures, so... That's a major pro... Oh, shitballs! Harold, no! <laughs> Run away! Ah, fuck. Somebody go rescue Harold. <laughs> Harold's getting his ass kicked right now. <laughs> uh, he's in no immediate danger. He's fine. All right, everybody else, just chill over here. Do I have any magic users here? That's a no. Okay. There's a goat. I'll take that goat, though. Yeah, we do have some pretty heavy hitters here. So if we can find a way to... If we can 
if we go here, hold this open. You go there, and then can you lure the fuckers in? Yeah, you can. Oh shit, they came in behind him. <laughs> Fuck it, we're gonna go get their asses. We're gonna rescue our bro. Maybe we should slow it down a little bit though. We'll just keep attacking the closest guy. Alright, these fuckers are done. I mean, everybody could attack him, or we could just dick around with our thumbs in our asses. Kelvin literally got owned there. His whole, his whole leg's destroyed. Uh, rescue that. No, you just go go rescue yourself, bro. <laughs> Your leg. All that. Rest hug. Rescue. And let's hope the traps do the job for the rest, because dear God... <laughs> Do you have any doctors in the house? Yeah, everybody's a doctor pretty much. Where the hell are you going? Just get it inside. There we go. No, fuck these things. Deconstruct. What happened there? Oh, nice. They pissed off a troll somehow. Well, the new trolls are tough as shit. All right, who's in the best shape? Not anybody, really. Kelvin, five hours, seven hours... 19 hours. Self-tend. Friend, self-tend. No immediate danger. But downed. How weird is that? Where the fuck? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stop what you're doing. No, don't clean. Tend. And then... 7, 5. Holy piss. Hopefully we can pull these guys through. <laughs> and how you... Oh, all these trolls. Alright, well, the Skaven have had enough. Here's the downside. These guys are man-eating now. You think they're going to come for these dicks? Or do you think they're going to come for us? They're coming for us. Someone's got to go close the fucking door. <laughs> can you get up, Rhett? Uh, you did not get ten. Kelvin. Health. Uh, we have to close this door right now. Fuck. <laughs> Where are they at? <laughs> Alright, they're now moving too quick, but neither are are we. Alright, you. Up and at them. Go there. Go there. So those trolls should take out these dudes down here, and then we should be safe as long as we can get this door closed. And then we will, once it's closed... Disallow it. Disallow this. Well, I like that they bought that and then left it outside. That's phenomenal. He took his pants right off. <laughs> Alright, did you get tended well? Nah, maybe not well. Alright, well, that was really unfortunate. Hopefully we have a mechanical leg or two. Cause yeah, we do have two. <laughs> I knew we bought something. I just wasn't sure what it was. Fuck you, troll. Don't do it. And then hopefully these dicks... Okay, they're coming now. There's going to be a battle. And watch the trolls. They are bananas now. That guy's got fucking heart damage. These trolls are fucked. Right? Hopefully. I didn't make them hit any harder, so they're still the same. Jesus Christ. The guinea pigs all just got the plague. Where get the guinea pigs? Did did we? No, we didn't leave a weapon outside. We brought it in. Whose weapon is that? It's Harold's. Hey, you guys go. Can you tend the guinea pigs? Maybe. I guess not. Nope, not gonna happen. <sighs> well, we're gonna have to fight these assholes. They killed all the trolls. On the plus side, though. A lot of dead trolls. <laughs> Alright, well, this could end really poorly, or it could end just fine. These guys aren't getting anywhere. In theory, these guys will get in first. We're just going to try and ignore. Uh, somehow we got a warrior in here. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> He's not tame. 
Alright, also we're gonna have to go do something about these assholes at some point. This guy, we'll let them all in. And then, Trap City, they should flee. Holy piss, that's tough. Please leave a like if you're enjoying. Leave a comment. I do read them all. I do respond. Alright, there we go. Should do them all in. <laughs> I appreciate you guys being with me today. It's been fun. These dumbasses did exactly as predicted. Got themselves killed. Ah, oh, it's a mess, but... Oh, this guy needs to finish off. He might recover. Let's send somebody out there now. Keldon. He can't even fucking walk. Jesus. I'll see you guys next time.